Welcome to an ad hocracy Fedora Friday. Today, April Fool's Day's tomorrow. Great pranks. Great marketing. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm David Landine. And I'm J.D. Melville. And welcome to an Adhocracy Fedora Friday, where we play games, we have fun, we talk about goofy stuff, because we don't want to work. Yeah, and it's great that it coincides with uh, April Fool's Day, because I feel like, you know, April Fool's, every day, every April Fool's is a Fedora Friday. Oh, absolutely. Even though it's like tomorrow is on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to prank family and not coworkers. Yeah, you wear a Fedora while you're doing it if you want. That was a question that I, that actually came up this past week. When If it's on a Saturday and you want to prank people at work, do you do it on Friday? Or Monday. You do it on Saturday. But no one's in, in the office. That's the prank. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, every year around this time, we start to see some really interesting marketing that's all fake. Because also everybody's creative. Everybody's like, like, let's do these fake products. Let's do these <laughs> fake marketing campaigns. Let's come up with something and really go to town yeah. and advertise it and it's actually spend money on something that's not real at all. Yeah, it's creativity gone wild. <laughs> and you know what? Like, there's a lot you can learn. Like, these fake marketing campaigns, these fake products actually have a lot that we can learn about marketing because constraints are gone. Purpose yeah. is gone. Like, it's it's just pure, like, we just have to gain attention for our, our, our company through something that isn't even real, but is fun and interesting and creative. Yeah, it's, a, it's sort of a good test ground because... What if if it blows up in your face? Well, it was just a prank. Of course, it's supposed to blow up in, in our face. Yeah, right? we did that on purpose. It, it's sort of a good <laughs> testing ground for that. Yeah, and I feel like some some of the products that are out there would actually be great products. Completely <laughs> like and like they actually could do them, but they're like, how do people respond to this? Like you know, or maybe it was a timing issue. I don't know. But today we're gonna study fake marketing to learn about real marketing principles. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna find funny pranks, talk about them, and what good could come of them. Okay, so number one, quilted northern. Ooh. Uh, this the the rule for this one is even an uncomfortable emotional reaction can be good. Okay. So what they did and they didn't really take it. It's an it too uncomfortable far. top topic anyway. Toilet paper. I mean You don't want to talk about toilet paper. Yeah. What they did is they they came out with their uh, handmade artisanal uh, toilet paper, and they have this video of like this woodworker just making like the process of making toilet paper Ooh. and sawdust, and it's, just, and, and they, it's it's really it's a creative ad, and it comes in like the different it like, also comes in all the different like different woods that there are, and uh, and he like made this handcrafted toilet paper. Um, my favorite part is that it shows this little kid. And I don't know how they got this reaction from this kid, but like the mom puts it down and this little, I don't know, like four or five year old, six year old, like kind of just looks over like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, it's the perfect reaction. They know, they never actually show somebody like using it. <laughs> they show somebody like rubbing it up against their cheek. Uh, but I mean, you know, yeah. But like the idea of what it would feel like is almost better than like showing somebody feeling uncomfortable using it. Yeah. It's like your own imagination can 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 do the work for them. But it's like, it's a pretty, I mean, it's not an uncomfortable commercial, but it's an uncomfortable topic. And like, it would be, an, I, I had an uncomfortable emotional reaction to it. Like, <laughs> oh, that does not seem that I know. Like, if that was real, I couldn't afford like, it probably because it was all handmade. Because but, it's all handmade and just super nice. But, but it's made out of wood. <laughs> I mean, toilet paper's made out of wood, isn't it not? No, cotton is a plant. So what sort kind, of. What kind do you use? <laughs> Artisanal brand, apparently. They call it the Artisanal Toilet Paper uh, nor Quilted Northern Rustic Weave. <laughs> Rustic Weave. Yeah. But, I mean, they could have easily, like, taken it too far. Yeah. But I feel like they, they did a good job of kind of towing the line, making it somewhat, like, comfortable, even though it was uncomfortable. <laughs> so, hey. Our next, next example comes from H&M. Um, and the, the rule on this one is clean and simple. 
So in 2015, H&M released the Mark Zuckerberg line. Ooh. Mark Zuckerberg, of course. He's a, he's a successful person. The Facebook uh, founder and CEO. There was a movie made about him, if you don't know. Yeah. I don't know how you wouldn't know. But yeah. Um, it came as a bundle of seven basic gray shirts and one pair of jeans. Well, because if you don't know, that's... I mean, he's a very... He actually chooses to only wear, like... A great just, t-shirt yeah. and jeans, just so he doesn't have to make that decision. Like it's just something that's taking care of him. Like this is probably a guy who loves school uniforms. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. But I, but I, this. But you know what? Like, and they, and it's very simple. It's very clean. It's very like they didn't try and do too much with this. Yeah. It was, but you know what? I think it's a viable product. <laughs> I think there's a market for this. There's like there was actually an article I read this past week about people who wear the same clothes, who wear the same stuff. Like there's there's an advantage to it. Well, I I have, I have like my closet. I have nine shirts, <laughs> and I just rotate them. Like I just have it like, you know. And you, if you watch a lot of these episodes, you probably know we don't have that many shirts. So we were on this episode. <laughs> But um, are on this on the show. Yeah, that would probably be good to to pair up with like Soylent. Exactly. Yeah. Because like, they are just sort of like here is a meal. Like keep your life simple. Here's a gray T-shirt and jeans. Here is a meal in a bottle. <laughs> like advertise it on like just you know start promoting it on Reddit and like gamer blogs. Like, yeah, you're you're gold. I think they actually could have. I, that that was one of those where we were kind of saying, I was thinking like I, you have to wonder whether they had this idea, but they wanted to test it first. <laughs> Like, so this was a way to like put it out there and see the interest and be like, mm, okay, it actually works. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I just I <laughs> I I don't know. Like I'm kind of one that if they if they priced it right, I could totally handle wearing gray t-shirts and jeans every day of my life. Like not even have to worry about it. Interesting. Just, I hate making yeah those decisions. <laughs> so I it, I mean they didn't try and do too much. They just kept it clean, kept right. it simple. Seven gray t-shirts, pair of jeans. It's funny because it's. Like well, and the the simplicity of it almost makes like makes you scratch your head and go, okay, is that real? Is that fake? Well, I was, I was like, that's I want that. Like that's a great idea. <laughs> and then it was fake. But <laughs> all right, next up, adding on to this idea of keeping it simple and keeping it like you know, McDonald's. There, this rule is know your audience. So you know, figure out who your who your prank or who your. Uh, market or your ad is going to they they came up with uh the m box the m box m box not mm. to be confused with m bop m box <laughs> if they had to do a commercial they Ooh. could have they could have called up hansen and yeah got them in they're, they're getting back together or something like that they were oh. uh, it's an interview with them at south by southwest oh perfect anyway um <laughs> This was a subscription service where you could order McDonald's. Like many subs- subscription services that are out there. Yeah, and it, like the box shows, you know, they have three versions of the box. They have the the artisan, the the ribster, Ooh. and the minimalist. The artisan one came with a chicken sandwich, and then okay. it came with like this mini loom and and uh, and uh, yarn that you could like. <laughs> Make rugs. Because you're like, an artist. Little, yeah, because you're an artist. And, and, and I mean, okay, so their audience obviously was hipsters. The the ribster came with like this mustache comb, um, a scarf, the McRib sandwich. Um, the minimalist came with, <laughs> came with one French fry and a little cup of uh, uh, ketchup. That was the <laughs> minimalist. But they created, they knew, like, they knew that they weren't going to, like, this wasn't going to appeal to everybody. Like, this wasn't going to be... Right. But at the same time, I mean, from a marketing sense, you probably would never make this. Because right. it's a very niche audience for such a big company. But what they did is at the same time as making fun of hipsters, they actually kind of... Enticed. I, kind of like, hipsters, like, I would get that. Like, yeah. Like, if you <laughs> would send me McDonald's in a box with, like, that, absolutely. Because subscription services are also sort of hipster. There was even, like, a card they would include in the, in the ribster box that said... Uh, ironic like it was, it was like something about irony or something like that so anyway nice. so mcdonald's it was it was uh they knew their audience they they knew kind of what they wanted who they wanted to, um, to talk to talk to yeah and it was, it was clever. our final example comes from our favorite uh streaming service netflix 
Um, but and YouTube is our favorite streaming service. Well, yes, that too. YouTube is our favorite streaming service. Whoops. <clears throat> um, and this this one is know how you're viewed or know how people interact with your brand. Yeah. Um, this one was was basically you know as you're watching Netflix, you of course are you know binge watching, you're Netflixing and chilling. You found your show that you are watching over and over again, and. Um, what Netflix did is they uh, ran ads to tell people to take care of themselves. So as you were watching, if you would watch two episodes in a row, um, it was it would give you a video that basically came up and said, "Okay, you know, an, an original series going outside." Well, it was it was like actors from those original series, like, "Hey, here's a here's an idea for you." Go outside, or you know, like I said, like I call your mom. <laughs> like, like eating eating food with utensils. Yeah, exactly. And it was, I think, it was their binge responsibly campaign. <laughs> but what was so interesting about that one is they were telling people to not to watch n- Netflix, like not do yeah, what stop, they're doing. Stop watching Netflix. But they kind of were able to make like laugh at themselves because they knew they knew people binge watch. I mean, obviously because they have all the analytics, but they knew right. people binge watch Netflix. They knew that was something that, that was like a cultural thing for their brand. And so they kind of were able to play on that. Like, guys, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should go I know. outside. Maybe get I know you exercise. like watching me a lot. I know you really enjoy my show. But maybe you should look outside or go shower. You stink. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a clever idea. And, you know, what's cool about all four of these campaigns is – they actually were very viable campaign. Uh, maybe not the toilet paper one. Besides the toilet paper one. Three out of the four were actually good ideas. I mean, yeah. I, I, we know clothing subscription services are there. We know people are don't like to buy their own clothes and so and are simple and, you know, and so here. They're like, playing on insights that, yeah. that they wouldn't maybe actually do, but they could test. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I wonder what's going to be the big ones this year. Keep an eye out tomorrow to see... Uh, some of the fake jokes and stuff. And, and and because, you know, it's not real, because it's a joke, they're also thinking outside of the box, right? They're making mm-hmm. connections that haven't been made before. And so it, it comes out with some really great thinking. Yeah, there, there's so much freedom. All right, um, what been the best? Oh, post, sorry, post your uh, Fedora Friday pictures. That's, yeah. uh, I was gonna tell you that. Um, if you like, if you celebrate Fedora Friday with us, I just post, use the hashtag Edhocracy Fedora Friday. I'm not going to try and draw that on the screen because I always do it backwards. <laughs> um, so, at Hawkeye Fedora Friday, and hey, tell us what your favorite corporate pranks or office pranks or... Yeah, and if you, know. you if you want some more pranks, go back to our season one. Um, we did have a, a video back then that uh, we covered some more of these pranks. Yeah, so uh, we'll have that at the end of this video. We'll, we'll put a link there. Yeah, if you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe, please. Um, we'll ha- we have new shows every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and uh, it's always good content. Yeah, um, if you don't like what you saw, you can tell us uh, in the comments, or you can tell us uh, on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. I mean, while you're there, you could totally follow us or yeah, tell absolutely. your friends about us. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. And uh, to kind of end your week, here's a video for you. Are you excited? I am. Let's watch. Is it going to start? Oh, is it not rolling? Do to do. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> this is awkward. That's a, that's a good video. Hey, by the way, did you notice anything different about our set? Oh today? yeah, yeah. We uh, we've hidden some things throughout the uh, episode today. It's uh, kind of a, like 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 in the highlights book. Oh. <laughs> there are little things for you to find. What's different? There's there's. Should we tell them how many? I don't know. Should we? There's eight. There's eight. There's eight things different. I'll give you a clue. It's between seven and nine <laughs> things around here. Not different, but things that are added. So yeah. you take a look. Have, go back and watch the episode again and, and, and watch for those. Okay. So now the video? Yeah. Okay. Here's the video. I think. We'll just get to the end. Are, are you still watching? Oh, you're really good at watching. You're a big fan, aren't you? We appreciate that. Oh my gosh, they're still watching. Wow. Hey, maybe you should go watch Netflix because 
they'll actually warn you when you've been watching too long. Yeah, they'll give you a little yeah. warning. Okay. All right, okay, now okay. we're really okay. going to end okay, okay, the video. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And end. Has it ended? I don't know. I don't see anything coming up. Who's cutting this thing? I mean, geez, this is so long. A really long episode. Oof. All right, well, maybe we'll actually talk about something interesting. Okay, well. All right, so. Authentic. Bespoke. Raw. Artisanally crafted toilet paper. <laughs>